let's see what news do we have going on today um Ryzen um ta -da. nope nope just no 2018 what did I tell you or is it not so bad stay tuned <laughs> Welcome back to Gamer Mode. I could swear that last year was out to get us, and this year seems to be no different. First RAM prices, then GPU prices, then major flaws, Spectre, and Meltdown that affected pretty much every CPU ever, and now this. So what's going on? Through a press release from Tel Aviv, the security company, CTS Labs has reportedly found 13 major security flaws that they've separated into four categories. These flaws are specific to AMD's Ryzen and Epic line of CPUs. This includes their APUs as well. The four categories are dubbed Rise and Fall, Master Key, Fallout, and Chimera. The surprising thing is that they aren't a part of the actual Zen core themselves, but two other chips specific to the Zen architecture. The problems lie in both the Premontory chipset and the 32-bit Cortex-A5 processor on the Zeppelin die. The Premontory chipset is reportedly made by Asmedia that supposedly had backdoors built in when AMD purchased and subsequently copied the design with the backdoors left intact. The second architectural flaw that allows for these security risks is ironically through the platform's secure processor, which is a take on the iPhone's built-in secure processor that basically holds extremely sensitive data. At first, some seem to question the report's validity, given the website is literally amdflaws.com, I mean, come on. Then the security company literally only gave AMD a 24-hour notice before making the information public, which obviously isn't enough time to fully grasp everything that needs to be done, much less secure a patch. With that said, the company hasn't given all the details to the public on how to actually exploit it themselves, so it kind of makes sense. Either way, they seem to be valid so far, as both Dan Guido, a chip security expert, and Gotti Evren, a security expert who's been a part of multiple cybersecurity companies and agencies, have confirmed the security issues are real. But, and there's a pretty big one, they don't appear to be as bad as most outlets are reporting them to be. This isn't at all to play it down, but the exploits actually require some form of administrative permissions already. As stated by chip expert David Cantor, all the exploits require root access. If someone already has root access to your system, you're already compromised. This is like if someone broke into your home and they got to install video cameras to spy on you. Basically, you've already got a major issue if someone has the ability to run one of these exploits. And even in the outline of the flaws by CTS, the company made a disclaimer which exposes the fact that the company, quote, may have either directly or indirectly an economic interest in the performance of the securities of the companies whose products are the subject of our reports. With that said, they also do claim to be unbiased and only disclose this as a disclaimer. So while the fears may be overstated, they still exist and aren't good because they do allow a system that's already compromised to become basically super compromised. When asked by Gotti Evren, who apparently knows the company, why this is a big deal given you already need root access, the company gave a few reasons. I think the biggest issue would be for servers, as it allows the hackers to read and write under protected areas, which potentially allows them to read user data. Don't get me wrong, while reading user data on anyone's computer is bad, which it does seem many of these allow you to do, it's doubly so when we're talking a server with potentially thousands of people's information. While I'm not going to go over each individual flaw and what it can do, I'll have the site linked in the description for those who are interested. As far as fixing these flaws, CTS claims all the flaws except for the ProMontory chipset, because it's more of a hardware issue, can be fixed, though it seems it would take months. They claim a workaround for the Promontory chipset issue could happen, but there may be side effects. Though AMD has only recently been made aware of the issue, they do have the following statement. We have just received a report from a company called CTS Labs claiming there are potential security vulnerabilities related to certain of our processors. We are actively investigating and analyzing its findings. This company was previously unknown to AMD, and we find it unusual for a security firm to publish its research to the press without providing a reasonable amount of time for the company to investigate and address its findings. At AMD, security is a top priority, and we are continually working to ensure the safety of our users as potential new risks arise. We will update this blog as news develops. Basically, while AMD does have some pretty serious security flaws, and it's probably going to be a while before we see a fix, they do seem to be at least a little exaggerated. With that said, for more updates to these security risks, make sure to stay tuned to GamerMeld. So while that does it for today, what do you think? Is it a no issue, or are you wanting to jump to Intel? 
Of course, they have problems too. Maybe crawl up into a ball until 2019? Let me know down in the comments below. And as always, have a great day.